All right, boys and girls, today we're going to look at the four main uh, types of soil that you find here uh, in the United States. Okay, the first one we're going to look at is desert soil. And desert soil is described as being dry, big surprise there, right? Dry, sandy, uh, light in color, has a firm consistency, uh, gritty texture, and very little organic matter. Uh, so when you see these terms, you know, consistency, firm consistency, texture, and color, this is how soil scientists describe soil, okay? Uh, in a soil, it's, a, uh, <clears throat> it's a, a soil in an area with low amounts of rainfall and high temperatures. Again, no surprise there. I think we all are well aware of what a desert is like, right? All right, number two, grassland soil. This soil is a reddish brown with loose consistency and a silky texture. The soil has lots of nutrients, so it is very fertile. Is a soil in an area with both wet and dry seasons. Number three, tropical grassland soil. This soil has lots of clay in it, so it, it has a sticky texture and is light in color. Uh, it's a soil in an area that is warm all year round and always wet. Number four is forest soil. This soil is gray, grayish to reddish brown. It's a uh, loose in consistency and has a sticky texture. The soil is very fertile. It's a soil in an area that has hot and cold, hot and cold seasons with lots of rain. All right, so here's a map of the United States. Now it's squeezed, okay? Uh, it needs to be stretched out, but because, you know, um, your notebook slides are, you know, the eight by 11 slide, I can't uh, stretch it out. Uh, but this does show you and depict what I want you to know and see. Okay, so where are these soils found here in the United States? Well, here on the eastern seaboard where we live on the eastern side of the United States, if you look at the state of Ohio, Oxford roughly right in here, big surprise, you know, forest soil. Uh, in fact, you know, history tells us that, uh, you know, the eastern side of, this, of the United States, when the pilgrims first settled, it was absolutely, you know, just thick as can be with forest, okay? Um, it's often been said you could walk literally almost across, uh, you know, across the state of Ohio, across the treetops and never touch ground. That's how thick the forest was. All right, come here in the middle of the country, from North Dakota, South Dakota, down to Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, uh, a little bit of Arkansas, a little bit of Mississippi, northern uh, part of Louisiana, uh, you have uh, grassland soil, and this part of the country we will talk about um, probably when we get back to school. Uh, what happened here, a big historical event happened here, and we'll talk about that uh, later. Uh, on this side uh, of the United States, so the eastern, or I'm sorry, the western part of the United States here from Arizona and New Mexico, surprisingly a lot of Colorado, Utah, Nevada, Wyoming, Idaho, Oregon, Montana. Surprisingly, a lot of a lot of Montana too. That's really really surprising. A little bit of Washington. You have a lot of desert soil. Now, this doesn't mean this is all one big desert, right? It just means it has desert soil. Now, certainly, parts of Arizona, Nevada, you do have deserts. Come over here to California, southern tip of Oregon here. Southern part of California, you have grasslands, uh, soils again, and then the only part, you know, of the United States that really has tropical grassland soil is just this little sliver here of California. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to do a lab today. Um, so you will need to, you know, have this video open, maybe on one side of your screen, and your notebook open on the other. Okay, so you have to complete the slides as we go over this in the video. Okay. All right. So nutrients and soil. So okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because of the the way class has worked out, um, you know, we were talking about Chris's school. I'm just going to give you guys a. Uh, I kind of you know I just took away some activities uh, honestly, and I'm going to give you guys a hint here. So when we test Chris's soil, we found out that it lasts, it lacks organic matter. Okay, it lacks nutrients that is needed to grow plants. 
when this happens in soil, there's a really, you know, in the video you guys watched the other day, they alluded to this. There's really only one thing that you can really do and to get the soil the nutrients that it needs it, quickly, right? Uh, you can certainly do other things, but this is the quickest and easiest way. And that is to provide the nutrients through the use of fertilizers, okay? When we look at the nutrients in soil, the three main types that we see, that we find, is new, as, uh, nitrogen, represented by an N, phosphorus, represented by a P, and potassium, represented by a K. Okay, so that's what these little things here are. And you, you kinda, you'll kind of see here in just a second why they're shaped the way they are. All right, so today we're going to look at soils that are missing certain nutrients. In this situation, a fertilizer is used to supply the missing nutrients. They are missing one or many of these nutrients. You will look at a series of soils and determine which nutrients are missing. Once you identify the missing nutrients, you will have to give the soil one of the fertilizers listed in the table below. You will want to use a fertilizer that is high in the nutrients that are missing and low in the nutrients that are already present in the soil. Okay, so here are the, you know, look, percentage of nutrients and fertilizer. So here are the fertilizers, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Then you have uh, how, much, uh, how much it provides in the form of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, okay? So if you look at uh, fertilizer A, if we add fertilizer A to soil, it's gonna add 20 units of nitrogen, 10 units of phosphorus, and 20 units of potassium. Now, here's the key. You want the nutrients to be equal, okay? You want the nutrients in the soil to be equal. That's very important that you understand that. It's so important, I'm gonna repeat it to you one more time. You want the nutrients in the soil to be equal, okay? All right, so let's look at soil one here. This is marked with an X, which nutrients is missing in the table. All right, so let's go ahead and mark that. Okay, so if we look, there is no nutrients, no nitrogen, no phosphorus, no potassium. So with an X, oops. Okay, I gotta come out of full screen here. All right, so with an X, I'm going to mark nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Okay? So make sure you do that. We're going to make it blue. All right, so go ahead and get that done. You can pause the video and do that real quick. All right, soil or uh, number two here. Mark with an X which nutrients is missing. Okay, no, I'm sorry. This is this is number soil card number two. I apologize. So which fertilizer would be used with the soil? So let's go back to our chart. Chart right here. Okay. So what fertilizer would we want to add? Remember. It has to be equal. We want equal amounts of nitrogen, equal amounts of phosphorus, and equal amounts of potassium. So look at this card again. We're missing nitrogen, we're missing phosphorus, and we're missing potassium. Okay? What fertilizer would we want to use? Okay, let me zoom in here. What fertilizer would we want to use for soil card number one? Fuels when you're not doing a very good job here. Okay, there you go. What soil card would we want to use? So you can pause it, put it, you know, write your guess, and then see if you were right. All right, if we look at the fertilizers, A through F, the only one that adds equal amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium is fertilizer D. And I'm going to try to zoom in again. Okay, we say it's fertilizer D because it adds in 20 
units of nitrogen, 20 units of phosphorus, and 20 units of potassium. Okay, so that is the one we want to go with. All right, so back to this card. So which one do we want to use? We want to use fertilizer E. Okay. All right, soil card number two. Okay. Soil card number two, the soil has, it has nitrogen in it, but we don't know how much. It's missing phosphorus and it's missing potassium. Okay. So it has some nitrogen. We don't know how much. It's missing phosphorus and it's missing potassium. So go back to your fertilizers here. We're looking for a fertilizer that's going to add equal amounts of phosphorus and potassium and a little bit of nitrogen. So which one of those would we add to soil card number two? All right, if you chose F, you are correct. And why is it F? Well, we're adding equal amounts of phosphorus and potassium. So look up here. We've already used D and we can't use D again, okay? We already know that it has some nitrogen in it. So if we use D, we would have equal amounts of phosphorus and potassium. Well, let's say it's got one unit of nitrogen in it. Well, we'd have 21 units of nitrogen, 20 units of phosphorus, 20 units of potassium. So, you know, you, you can't use D. Even if you could reuse fertilizers again, you know, you can't use that one, okay? Now look at this one. It adds 16 and 8, 5 and 5. Well, you could say, well, yeah, it could be that one, right? Adding equal amounts, but look, it's adding 25 units of nitrogen. Is that equal? Not even close. So the only one, okay, adds 15 of potassium, 15 of phosphorus. So let's go back to our soil card. So which one is it missing, right? It's missing X, or it's missing phosphorus, missing potassium. So we mark that with, mark that with, okay. Now, we're adding 15 units here, 15 units here, five here. So what does that tell you it has in it already? How much nitrogen is in this soil already? If we're adding five. If you said 10 units, that's correct. Because then we, those are already 10 units in there. We add five. Now we got 15, 15, and 15. Okay. So the answer here fertilizer. Okay. All right. Let's go to our next slide. 33. All right. Look at this one. Soil card number three. We have potassium, but we have no phosphorus. We have no nitrogen. Okay. So we want to go back to our, our chart here. Yeah, I'm going to just zoom in. I mean, I stink at this. All right, there we go. Finally, all right. So which one do we want to do we want to add? Okay, so it's missing it's missing nitrogen and it's missing phosphorus, but it does have it does have. Or it's missing potassium, I'm sorry, and it's 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 got nitrogen and phosphorus. So we want to add a fertilizer, it's gonna add equal amounts of nitrogen and phosphorus and just a little bit of potassium. Okay, so which one of these soils, I'm sorry, which one of these fertilizers would be best? If you said C, that's correct, because we're adding equal amounts of nitrogen equal amounts of phosphorus. Let's go back to our slide. We're adding eight units of, 
um, we're adding eight units of potassium. So what does that tell you? If you're adding 16 here, 16 here, and eight here, what's in the soil already? If you said eight units, that is correct, okay? So what fertilizer are we using for soil card number three? Fertilizer, let's see, okay? Now at the soil card number four. Soil card number four is missing potassium. Okay. Missing potassium. So we got to go back to our chart and find where it adds just a little bit of nitrogen, a little bit of phosphorus, and uh, potassium. So let's go back here. Okay, so which one, so here, you know, here's the other thing too, boys and girls. Um, we have, I'm sorry to be so herky jerky here. We have, geez, repeats. we have used D, F, and C already. Okay, so now all you got left is E, B, and A. E, B, and A. So let's look at E. We need, okay, so this one's adding zero nitrogen, zero phosphorus, 22 units of potassium. Bam, right there, already know, right? Because let's go back to our card. So we're adding zero nitrogen, zero potassium, 22 units of, geez, let me repeat, zero units of nitrogen, zero units of phosphorus, 22 units of potassium. So what does that tell you it has in the soil already? It's already got 22 units of phosphorus and nitrogen, okay? So we are adding fertilizer. All right. Last two. So which one is this missing? Well, it's missing nitrogen. got phosphorus and potassium the only two cards or the only two soil types that we have left is a and b okay um so it's missing phosphorus missing potassium or i'm sorry it has phosphorus it has potassium it's missing nitrogen okay so look at a well can't be a right so look at b it's adding equal amounts of the two that is missing I'm sorry, it's adding it's adding 25 units of nitrogen that is missing, five units of phosphorus, five units of potassium. So if you go back to the soil card, okay, so it's adding five here, five here, 25 here. So what does that tell you has in the soil already? 25. I'm sorry, 20. All right, so we would go with soil, or I'm sorry, fertilizer B. All right, last but not least, this one's missing nitrogen. This one's missing potassium. And we know already it's A, but why is it A? Let's go back and look. It's A because... It's missing nitrogen and potassium. So it's missing this one and this one. And it's got phosphorus, and it's only adding 10, 10 units. So it's adding equal amounts of potassium, equal amounts of, of nitrogen. So we know it, it, it's adding 10 units of phosphorus. So what does that tell you? It's in the soil already for soil card six. How many units of phosphorus? 10 units. You would be correct. All right. The last thing that you have to do for today is to use the link to jump into this game, Amazing Underground. You will play this game to try to get the correct combination of nutrients and water in the soil to grow crops. You'll have to use the mouse instead of the arrows to direct the objects digging the dirt. 
So click this link. I want you to complete at least three trials of the game and record your score below. And that is all you have for today. All right. So thanks for listening. Have a great day. And I will talk to all of you soon.